Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here and welcome to another video. So long time no see with the face cam, my dudes. The mustache is still growing. It's getting to the point where I have to wash it after I eat because stuff gets in it. But I, I'm still doing it. We're still we're still on this. I might shave it for 15k subs or something like that. But yeah, in this one we get a video from Devil with the Rail that we're going to look at. And uh, if you got any video that you want me to take a look at and you think might be worthwhile making a video about, I have my Discord server that has a, a channel that uh, called Sigval should see this and you you just submit that over here and I'm going to take a look at it if I think it's worth making a video so feel free to send me stuff and I'll I'll, I'll consider looking at it by the way subscribe to Devil's channel I'll put a link to it in the description the pinned comments quality content so yeah let's get into this he got 900 mil damage in six fights in tier eight and in six fights, that's quite a lot of damage. And uh, in theory, if you do the maths, I'm pretty sure it's impossible. Actually, is it? I don't know. The thing is, it's going to be a glitch that allows you some of your fights to uh, register as more damage than they should. And we're going to talk about which fights specifically. So first up, we're going to have the uh, League of Anarchy fight over here. He's going to use League of Anarchy uh, plus Justic Flash plus Nora Snow Globe against Boss Gorilla Groat. And he's going to have Dark Mill cards on EPI to get those guaranteed crits. He's going to get Flash killed here. I don't know what, he, what he's waiting for with Flash getting killed. I guess baiting a special so that the special doesn't get used on um, uh, Joker. But the thing is he's got 5 targets killed. So Joker is going to deal tremendous amounts of damage. And now it's just about getting first of all Grod's super move out of the way eventually. And also Joker's super move because that's really worth doing here. EPI two hits, Joker back in there, the mid combo tagging. Uh, another thing that you should keep in mind is that for this fight, for this strategy specifically with Flash in the team to work. Oh, after a two hits combo interruption, I did like that. So for this fight work, you actually need to have some armor pierce on your Joker because if you don't have any armor pierce, then uh, you're not gonna deal much damage to Grodd because he's got 75% defense. Super move, EPI is gonna tank that, no problem. Like, at this point, I think EPI is quite safe to turn into a more tanky version of herself. Because I previously, we would build hybrid EPI, and don't get me wrong, that's still a very, very good build to have. Very legit build to have. But at the same time, nowadays, since the introduction of Dark Metal cards, even in League Rates, and previously it was only about League Rates with the damage oriented EPI, because previously you wanted to put Orb Blades on her as well, and you wanted to squeeze as much damage out of her as possible while uh, still making her survive super move, and that was worth doing previously. But now that she's doing Dark Metal cards, and Joker has absolutely no problem one shutting the crap out of this dude. I, I don't think you really have to risk it to, to go that far in terms of her not being that tanky and at the same time I don't think you have to pour so many resources into her to the point where you get her armor pierce on basic attack hits really. I mean that's still to an extent the most optimal way but is no longer a priority. So yeah this fight went pretty smoothly like after he does his super move you just get into the corner and you just do the infinite combo that's from... Um, uh, an EPI full combo into a block and then you tag in Joker into a special two. There's almost no way to mess that up. And I have managed to do so myself, so I'm, I'm quite quite experienced in that regard. So here is going to be one of the fights that will over damage by a bit. It's going to be a Manta, Vix and um, Wonder Woman fight. And that's a pretty interesting team setup. I don't think I've... I mean, I mean it most likely has been done a few times, but uh, I'm not sure I've seen this previously. Usually there's a Brainiac in there. I've, I've seen Manta with Vixen Brainiac. I've seen uh, Manta with classic Wonder Woman Brainiac, but I've never seen this without Brainiac. And this is 7 star Brainiac, so do keep that in mind. It's going to have uh, uh, a level uh, 7, I think. Joker is bad rank on the Manta. So what that does is it gives Manta two additional uh, fast tech hits, putting him at four fast tech hits in total, and at the same time allows uh, him to deal increased damage against Dr. Fate um, uh, while uh, the poison effect is active. The poison effect is going to be applied by specials, and he's going to apply that with the um, second special. And he's got armor pierce on basic attack hits, so the second special is not really for the defense reduction purposes that much. 
more for the appliance of poison though it does help because armor pierce on basic attack hits does not um, really work uh, for swipes only works for normal hits for tap hits if you want to call them that let's get super move here available and vixen is going to tank that going for a full combo boy wouldn't have done that on my Manta, though I think he can still keep up the combo now that he's, he's like 5 stars, but I have a huge amount of PTSD on my Manta, because uh, it, it, back when we had it... Uh, by the way, let's move my face, because in this one block might be somewhat relevant, and in future fights it will be far more relevant. Let me move my face a bit over here, so I'm not too intrusive, so you can see everything that's pressed on the screen. Uh, so yeah, I still have post-traumatic stress disorder for my Manta being 3 stars and if you want it, you could tag out and tag him back in and him having the full stacks, but you needed to do it so, so on the edge, so right when the tagging cooldown was up or your passive stacks would expire. But yeah, for the most part, it's going to be swipe down infinite combo in the corner. The poison effect is going to last a long time. My Joker S veterans are like level 4, so I'm used to lower duration on that. So it's going to be a little bit higher here. Usually for me, things after two full combos. That seems like Devo can get um, half of the third combo in there, or something like that. Another special 2 in there, gonna back off into a block. Dr. Fate seems chill, seems, seems like he has... Uh, Trigger the uh, Dr. Fate bug while he doesn't uh, use any any specials after um, using his super move, maybe. Oh, no, nah, never mind, never mind. It's it's just normal Dr. Fate. He gets just lucky to an extent. And boy, this fight was pretty close. That's why I've, uh, I've, I've said that I haven't seen this fight without Brainiac. And obviously without Brainiac, it's going to be a little bit more off to one shot here. But boy, barely making it in, in the last uh, last few seconds. So this is a fight where the damage bug will kick in. So you can see that he um, did this amount of damage, but as we get uh, to see his damage score, it's far more than if you add up the, the two fights. I mean, not that much far more, but a little bit more than if you add up the two fights. That's going to be one of the... Um, uh, let's see, bug yielding fights, as far as I'm aware. And it's caused by the Joker S bat ranks. And another bug is going to, uh, is going to be caused by uh, Batman who laughs which we'll get to into later. So this is going to be a bait club Batman Catman fight. I'm going to speed it up for this one because this is going to be pretty self-explanatory to an extent. Oh, not subtitles, my dude. Speed. We're going to go on two times speed for this one. Because look, I know that you guys are not really keen on watching uh, Catman come on dropping into resetting dot values for three minutes. So let's just go with one minute and a half. But at the same time, he's got a pretty lucky start in terms of the two characters dying. Third special in there, combo interrupting, keeping up that good dot value. Our third special in there, need to do the third special as uh, much as possible. Oh boy, you messed up! You messed that one up! Didn't you? Oh, come on, my dude, we have, we have higher expectations here. Everybody that's featured on this channel, especially myself, plays perfectly every single time, so I expect no less of you guys if you submit it. So that's, that uh, combo interruption is definitely something that's not acceptable there. And yeah, it, it goes as far as uh, you'd expect the beta club fights. I didn't see any crazy values going all the way up to 3 mil, but I've seen consistent high values, I guess. And usually when I manage to kill it with beta club Catwoman, I, I barely do it. He's, he had plenty of time left here. So it's going to be um, quite a decent amount of damage there. So this one, let's let's go for normal speed for now. We might, we might two times speed when we get to the point where we just watch the... Uh, Dot values flying and uh, Captain Cole just chilling there. So we have a classic Superman to reduce the armor of the opponent. This is going to be quite crucial for this one because if not, you're hitting at the brick wall of um, very high defense. He could have used Sword of Sin on Brainiac, but I'm not sure how reliable that would have been, and that might have messed up with the Mr. Freeze combos and stuff and broken the freeze. So I guess it's the better choice to do this. Also, Sword of Salvation on classic Superman to make sure that uh, you can power generate a bit. Second special in there, gonna back off. Oh, come on, you're doing swipe downs? Uh, actually, actually, nah, he's in a hazard, so he can't really combo in chopped, I guess. Because the enemy will do jump attack if they're in a hazard. And he's not even going to stack with Brainiac. 
like Nabro, Nabro, we're, we're spitting it up already. Uh, so uh, I, I thought that he might need to lethal stack with Brainiac a bit, but we're looking at the seven star Mr. Freeze, so it's gonna be all the way up to the, the maximum dot value without caring about Brainiac stacks. Brainiac is there just because Brainiac had no other place to be, honestly. He has no, no, he has no, no, not much of a relevance in this team. I mean, he gives Mr. Freeze a bunch of attack, to be fair. But yeah, th this is as far as Mis Mr. Freeze Beta Club goes, especially at 7 stars, which is a disgusting amount of damage, if I might say so myself. Now getting into the very interesting stuff, like, this is the fight that uh, I, I find one of the most interesting out of the um, uh, raid compilations. The phase one fight with Raven because it's going to be a beta club fight. It's going to be Raven plus Confluent Sakum and Beta Club. I mean, you might be like, ah, oh, that's a no brainer. If I had Beta Club myself, I could do this, no problem. But nah, it's all it, it goes a little bit deeper than that, my dudes. This one it's a little bit more complicated. It requires a little bit of finesse to execute properly. So it's got a Dr. Fate killed. Again, you need him for the passive, but you don't need him to be messing up with you in phase two because we are definitely going to get into phase two. So, a second special in there. Jump attack and our spe second special in there. Here you don't want to use third specials, you just want to spam second specials and keep your percentage health damages for the third phase. Okay, so, max darkness stacks, 3 mil already. Second special. Right now it's just going to be a balancing act of uh, getting this dude killed while, while Raven is tagged in as the active characters. And that's only 4 darkness stacks by the way, not even 5. So yeah, Brainiac is going to die pretty soon, phase 2 is going to be incoming, so he tags in Raven. I mean, he could have used another special one in there to, to kind of uh, power drain a bit. So that special one did not happen. So a special one from Raven, he did get lucky because he didn't start off with his special one disabled. Another one, another one, four stacks. And this is the absolute maximum amount of stacks you can get to from Raven. Five of them! I didn't know you can get all the way to five stacks from the, the one tag. What? What is this? What is this sorcery? I was like, you're gonna get three. If you're very lucky, you might get four. But five, my dude? Holy, holy shit, my dudes. I did not know five was possible. So here it's just going to be spamming specials. What you wanna do is make sure that the darkness is refreshed as... Um, close to the tag out moment as possible, so it has a lot of time to, to run its course. King back in there, applying the 3 mil dot values. King will lose all the stacks when entering phase 2, but will regain all of them as long as you um, uh, don't reach max stacks in um, phase 1. He'll pick up the pace when he enters phase 2 after using your first special. Okay, so phase 3 already, boy, that, those five, 5 darkness stacks on the, the first tag were quite something. So in third phase, third special in there, he, he still has some of those left over. Raven back in there, special 1. It's going to be a very tricky one yet again, because there's going to be power drain, there's going to be um, dot damage hazards, and you can't really prepare yourself for those, because you're already going through two phases that kind of have their own requirements, and at this point you're just going to do your best with what you have at your disposal. Now there's special in there, 3 mil and getting uh, to the uh, point of stacks with King because they reset when you enter third phase where it's still 3 mil dot value and he's barely not gonna be able to one shot it. So I have bad rip in that regard. It was very very close to that nevertheless. And now to the last fight. So um, how this goes. It seems that uh, in every single fight where Batman who laughs is present in league raids the damage that Batman who laughs actually does is going to be somewhat doubled. I don't know if it's exactly doubled here, but we'll see how it goes. We have Batman who laughs here with sort of salvation against phase 4. And Deathstroke and Red Hoods. I know what uh, will be on uh, Deathstroke in terms of artifacts. Would, would be interesting to see a Nora Snow Globe Red Hood actually. Third special in there. Boy, I'm so jealous at being able to activate final form from a high combo third special. I can't do that at my star rating because it's dependent on the passive that you're going to max out with star rating. Gonna back off here. Ringish the combo. Back off again. Another third special in there. 
you could have done super move there to be honest it would have been just uh, just a faster animation overall in terms of time efficiency and i don't think you really care about how much power is spent and yeah the start of this could have gone better he got a little bit unlucky with how he uh, managed to do his things overall because of the brainiac's animations in backing off there we go finally super move getting uh, yeeted out and he only missed one percent the shell damage there on that last transformation so that's in there first second special oh and we see the damage buff there we see we see the damage buff so there's going to be a north snow globe like I, i've had people telling me that uh, the north snow globe interaction in in phase four is a thing but uh, I, I just um, I, I just answered them, I know, I know that's a thing, but I haven't really seen it in action so far, to be fair, and I haven't managed to try it myself. Another second special in there, 3 mil. Come on, please get hit by super move. Ow, ow, come on, man, I wanna see what happens. Why are you doing this to me? I wanna see what happens. Nah, he's not gonna be able to keep up power stealing with that. There's no way he's gonna be able to keep up with that. Like, we're not even in the last minute and he's struggling. It's gonna happen, my dude. It's it's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna die to Super Moon. I'm gonna finally see for myself what happens. With, with the North Snow Glow Phase 4 interaction. Come on, just just give up. It's gonna happen. Regardless if you like it or not. There you go, Super Move. So yeah, the other two characters get one-shotted. But the clone gets in there and Deathstroke is still alive. So that's, that's what exactly happens. Well, now I know. I mean, I kind of expect, I, I kind of knew to an extent, I have seen screenshots, but I have ne never actually seen a fight. Air super move gets in there, again, gets, Destro gets tagged out, the clone gets in there. Another second special. And then our second special in there. Yeah, that's gonna be about it for this one. And yet again, because it's going to be a Batman who laughs fight, it's going to be uh, double the damage, I think, registered towards his uh, total rate damage. So yeah, congrats uh, for dealing that terrible damage, Devo. And thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe to Devo, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!